Euro area inflation was 4.9% in November 2021. That is the highest level since the introduction of the Euro almost 20 years ago. In this video, I'll explain what inflation is, why it is currently so high, what the European Central Bank can do against it, and what we can expect in the future. Inflation means that prices are rising, and in particular consumer prices. So those are the prices that you pay for typical consumer stuff. For example, if you pay rent or heat your house or if you go grocery shopping or do any other kind of shopping or if you travel or eat at restaurants, all of those items are included in the calculation of the consumer price. If inflation is 4.9%, it means that if last year you were paying 1000 euros for your typical consumer expenditure, then today you would be paying 1049 euros for the same things. An inflation of 4.9% doesn't mean that everything costs 4.9% more than it did last year. According to this data from Eurostat, what is mainly driving inflation is the cost of energy. So the cost of gasoline and electricity has gone up a lot compared to last year while other components of consumer expenditure have also risen, but by far less. The reason for this rising cost of energy is the extra economic activity compared to last year, when there were still much more restrictions due to the coronavirus. The European Central Bank, or ECB, is responsible for price stability in the euro area. It wants to keep inflation close to 2%. Now that inflation is almost 5%, it has a problem. The ECB has two instruments to control inflation. It can change interest rates or buy or sell bonds. If inflation is too high, central bankers usually increase the interest rate. This makes it more expensive to borrow money and it rewards savers. This should decrease the demand for goods and services so prices can stabilize or even drop. If you've watched our video on the balance sheet of the ECB, you know that it owns a lot of bonds. By no longer buying new bonds or even by selling part of its portfolio, the ECB would increase the bond supply for institutional investors. In theory, this should have the effect that long-term interest rates also go up. So again, savers would be rewarded and borrowing would become more expensive. Higher interest rates would reduce the demand for energy, so prices can go down. But that's all theoretical. Suppose that instead of 0%, you get 0.5% interest rate on your savings account. Would that mean that you will also drive less with your car, or that you will reduce the temperature in your living room by one degree Celsius? Probably not. Although the ECB can print money, it cannot print any gas or oil from the ground. So it's not obvious that higher interest rates are the solution right now. High energy prices should result in more production, so prices can go down. And even if energy prices are still at the same level one year from now, this will have 0% effect on inflation. So only looking at energy, the ECB should be quite certain that inflation will go down next year. But that doesn't take into account so-called second-order effects. If because of inflation, workers want higher wages, or if companies pass on their higher production costs to higher consumer prices, then inflation will still be high next year. So what can the ECB do against the current high inflation? It seems the answer is not much.